Hello and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. We heard from a customer who had issues with the steel flashing off and found he had high chlorides, that's salt, on his steel. He determined it was caused by the abrasive. So how do you check if there's salt in the abrasive? Well, you use a core test abrasive chloride test kit. So what we've got that comes in the kit is we've got the extraction fluid, we've got a vial to take our sample of abrasive, and we've got our titration tube. We've got a little tool that we'll show you how to use later. So we come and get a sample of our abrasive. We level off the exact amount and we can either take that back or we can pour it straight in to the extraction fluid now. Now we need to take this for two minutes to make sure it's extracted all the chlorides off the abrasive. Okay, so we've shaken up our abrasive in our extraction fluid, we've let it settle for five minutes and now we can do the test. So we snap the ends off our little titration tube that lid off here and we can put this little rubber stopper on the end so that we can help suck it up a bit and put it in the, in the fluid and you can see the fluid coming up the tube. We need to wait till the fluid gets, the water gets all the way to the top to this white piece here and you can tell that because it changes colour slightly. So the water's come all the way to the top here and we can see we've got a chloride reading here of about seven, just under eight parts per million of chloride, which is a very low reading because we're using GMA garnet. So you've seen the claw test kit allows for fast testing. So you can blast and be certain you won't be introducing salt onto the surface. You'll get a higher quality coating job, you'll impress the customer, and it can be used with any common abrasive. Thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. Thank you.